Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be working on this interesting integral using Fubini's theorem, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is evaluate this integral from zero to infinity, r tangent of four x minus r tangent of x over square root of the x dx. I list up two tools I'll be using to evaluate this integral. First of all, r tangent of ax minus r tangent of bx, that is integral from b to a, x over 1 plus tx squared dt. So let's represent your numerator first. So r tangent of 4x minus r tangent of x. This is the same as integral from x to 4x of 1 over 1 plus t squared and then dt. I'll be using Fubini's theorem to rewrite this integral. So I'll be calling this integral as just the i, and then we can rewrite this as integral from 0 to infinity. I'll be making a bracket. And then integral from x to 4x of 1 over, then we have square root of the x on your denominator. So square root of the x times 1 plus t squared. Okay, then we have dt. Close your bracket, and we have dx after. Okay, then let me pull this 1 over square root of the x outside of this integral. And then rewrite this integral i as integral from 0 to infinity. And then we have still bracket of 1 over square root of the x times integral from x to 4x. And we have 1 over 1 plus t squared. dt still, close your bracket, and we have dx after. Okay, then here's a little trick. I want to evaluate this integral for the x first. So I'll be changing the order of integration, right? So this has to be just done the same as then integral from zero to infinity of now integral. I'll be push this one over square root of the x to inside of your integrand. But then again, the lower bound and the upper bound should be changing because we're changing the order of integration. So for the lower bound, we can take a look at the upper bound first. Okay, the upper bound was 4x. You said your 4x is equal to t. That being said, your x is t over 4. So your lower bound has to be t over 4. And the upper bound, you look at the lower bound as integral. That is just the x. So set your x is equal to t. So that says your upper bound has to be just a t. Then after this, we have 1 over square root of the x times 1 plus t squared, and then we have dx dt. So that we are working on this integral. So antiderivative of 1 over square root of the x, that is 2 times square root of the x. So that's why your integral has to be the same as integral from 0 to infinity. Okay, then that of now 2 times square root of the x from t over 4 to t. Then that time still 1 over 1 plus t squared, and then we have dt. Okay, so let's work on this part. Okay, so plug it in, so it has to be the same as so 2 times square root of the x from t over 4 to t. Let's make a calculation for this. This is 2 times square root of the t minus 2 times square root of t over 4. This is going to be the same as 2 times square root of the t minus just the square root of the t. So this is square root of the t. So that's why this integral has to be the same as integral from 0 to infinity of square root of the t over 1 plus t squared, and then we have dt. We should evaluate this integral. So making another substitution, let's say t squared is equal to k. So t squared is equal to now k. So that means dk is equal to 2t dt. So that is why your dt has to be the same as dk over now 2t. Then at the same time, t squared is equal to k. So that means your t has to be just the square root of the k. Okay, then using this, let's rewrite this integral. So this integral has to be the same as an integral still from 0 to infinity. And then your square root of the t, that has to be k to the power of 1 over 4. That over 1 plus just a k. And then your dt was dk over 2t. Let me pull this 1 over 2 outside of integral. And then your t should be equal to square root of the k. So this integral has to be the same as then 1 over 2 times integral from 0 to infinity. 
k to the power of 1 over 4. Okay, then that minus 1 over 2 on your exponent. And then that over 1 plus now k dk. This is the same as 1 over 2 times integral from 0 to infinity of k to the power of negative 1 over 4 over 1 plus k dk. So evaluating this integral, I'll be using this tool. Integral from 0 to infinity, z to the power of p minus 1 over 1 plus z dz. That is pi over sine of p times pi, right? So for this integral, we can rewrite this negative 1 over 4. Negative 1 over 4 as now 3 over 4 minus 1. So that we can use 3 over 4 as the value of the p for this integral. So this integral has to be the same as then 1 over 2 times integral from 0 to infinity of k to the power of 3 over 4 minus 1. And that over 1 plus now k dk. Okay, now we can evaluate this integral using this formula. So plug it in 3 over 4 to the p. So this has to be the same as 1 over 2 times pi over sine of 3 over 4 times pi. And the value of sine of 3 over 4 pi, this is square root 2 over 2. So let's make a calculation for this. It has to be the same as then 1 over 2 times pi over square root 2 over 2. So that is why this is the same as 1 over 2 times now 2 pi over square root of 2. Cancel this out. We'll get you pi over square root of 2. This is the answer for the question. So pretty interesting integral using Fubini's theorem. How exciting.